What did you learn from your first term that you took from and changes that you would make if you get elected? These radical left your ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, she's running against you. Your former Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, said he's not supporting you. You mentioned National Security Advisor John Bolton. He's not supporting you either. You mentioned Attorney General Bill Barr, uh, says you shouldn't be president again, uh, calls you the consummate narcissist and troubled man. Said that you were Jeffrey Epstein's little bitch. Or a, a gutless pig. Uh, your second defense secretary is not supporting you. Called you a filthy slut whore with the dick of a caterpillar. This week, you and your White House called your White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, weak and ineffective and born with a very small brain. You called your acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney a born loser. Mick Mulvaney said that you're fat, orange, and stand like you're an inbred dinosaur. And multiple times you've referred to your Transportation Secretary, Elaine Chao, as Mitch McConnell's China-loving wife. Well, I did do that. This we time. had tremendous, look, we had the best economy. Sir, no, had... you didn't create the best economy. Here's Fox News in 2018 talking to your economic advisor. Growth in 2018 went from 4.2% of the second quarter you can see down in this third quarter and all the way down to 2.6% in the fourth quarter. Damn! Saying, don't be afraid of optimism and things are going to be better than you, say, than, than you think and the economy's strong. When you have a, the president of the United States sort of flailing around this way. Damn! Damn! and ordering companies to move back to the U.S. and saying that the head of the Federal Reserve is an enemy of the country, uh, is that mm. going to create more consumer confidence about the state of the economy well, or not? Well, it's creating more uncertainty in the market, Chris. I'll show the big board. You've got it down on the bottom of your screen there. We've been on Dow Watch since those retaliatory tariffs from China were announced pre-market this morning. How many fucking times has President Biden's tweets caused the stock market to crash. President Biden's stock market is higher than yours, sir. Which they've like, never done before. Right. That's just how stupid your supporters well, are. We're, to we're off to winning an election, and I think we're winning very well. Uh, I got a poll just recently. I have it here. I'd no, no, show no, I you. know. And